Hey there guys, welcome to the show. This is Idiot Box Radio. My name's Tori and we're going to be doing a bit of a cheeky book review. Let's have a look at Charlie Higson's The Enemy. It's Idiot Box Radio with your host Tori. Hey there guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Tori, you're not. This is Idiot Box Radio where I tell you things, I crack dirty jokes and I try to make you smile. You can find out more about the show at idiotboxradio.com. That's my domain. It's not yours. I purchased it a while ago and I've kept it ever since. Welcome to the library. I don't know if I've filmed very much of my little headquarters. Um, I'm using a microphone at the moment, a Yeti microphone, and it's sitting between my lap like an oversized dick. It kind of is. I'm not going to point the camera in it because I'd have to point it down on my crotch. As always, I'm full of shit and uh, I do want to talk to you about a book I read. I just finished, actually. So it's down here right next to me. Um, Charlie Higson, The Enemy. Is it going to be backwards on your screen? I certainly hope not. If it is, bad luck. So book review and uh, what to do. Let's have a look. Let's just do this thing the way only we know how. So first things first about this. Wait a second, let me try again. One of the things I want to get out of the way and say, okay, is that this book is a banger. It um, You can find it in a lot of your bookshops in the uh, young readers section, which is bullshit. It's probably uh, suitable for, I would suggest, late teens to adult. But the premise of this... It, is done absolutely no justice by the blurb on the back. The blurb on the back is pretty crap. Um, I'm going to read it to you, and then I'm going to tell you what the story's about. You ready? Every time he thought they'd gone, he heard them again searching for him. The sickness struck everyone over 14, first twisted their minds, ravaged their bodies. Now they roam the streets crazed and hungry. Um, so basically, the young people hide in gangs, and uh, the that is like your general premise that they've got behind there, you know. To get there, they must face the enemy, the mindless killers who once promised to love and protect them always. Can they trust each other long enough to make it out alive? Make it out of where, I don't know. They're stuck in the city, but let me just wax lyrically and tell you what this book is about as quickly as I can so as I can get this uploaded and you guys know to go and buy it because uh, it has been out for a little while. Charlie, you did a good job, mate. I know you also did, I mean, not that Charlie watches this, but uh, you might now. Also did some, uh, I think, young Bond books as well. And if you guys don't know, I am the doyen of words and what I say goes. And this book is well worth going out and buying or ordering or however you want to go get it. Now, warning to the weak hearted. There's seven books in the series, okay? It culminates, I think, in The Hunted. I have only read this one. I have since purchased the entire lot. Probably should have done this review first and then begged Penguin to give me the rest of them but it was not to be. In any case, um, so this book is beautifully written. It's an absolute fast page turner and I don't really care what your age is. I would say from about 17 up, this book would be something that you enjoy. It's not a zombie thing. Basically, it, it alludes that it would be, but it's not, but it, it isn't really um, at all. Basically, the story is about Anyone over the age of blah, blah, like they mention up to 15, 16 year olds, nearly 18 year olds. So anyone who is an adult um, gets affected. Now, we at the moment, we don't know how. Apparently, it's later revealed in the series why adults are getting affected by this. But basically, they end up with all lumps, bumps, boils. They lose their fucking brain pans and they decide that killing kids will be a lot of fun. But not like the movie Nicolas Cage, Nicky C., Nicholas Coppola, not like the mum and dad movie that he did with, I think, uh, was it Summer Hayek? I think so. Who cares? It's Nicholas Cage and he tries to kill his children. Um, it's not that at all. The streets are in ruins. It's London. Um, the kids are in gangs. They're trying to survive at the, against a common enemy of being the adults. But at the same time, they don't trust each other. Um, things are feral. Things are not good. Um, it's intimated that uh, the different gangs and the disarray... Um, we follow a group of kids and they're your primary gr group, which I do love and uh, just what happens to them. Don't think that this book is not for the faint hearted. There is blood and guts and gore written accessibly, if that makes any sense at all. Like I would not shy away from, I would say to kids, look, this part of this can be scary. And there is some scary imagery in it, particularly toward the end. One of them meets a pretty horrible sounding death. And if you read behind the words, um, it's actually really sad the way he goes. Um, but yeah, plenty of killing. 
kids killing kids, Hunger Games style, not really, but sort of for things, to get things, um, and also internal power struggles, uh, relationships. Higson has brought everything to the party and wrapped it all up in this neat freaking package that is so very well done. I really urge you to go and buy it. It won't take long to read. My copy's filthy because I carried it in the car with me. I don't like this Tory. I don't like it one bit, but it is what happened. My friend Jess put me onto this and I'm so grateful that she did because it's an absolute banger and um, now I can pass that goodness on to you. So never a dull moment here, never a dull moment at all. Beautifully written, beautifully paced and will leave you very much itching for more. Um, the, the enemy is just a gorgeous start to what I'm hoping will be an action-packed series and I'll let you know as each uh, book goes along what I thought of it and maybe you will even be able to encourage me by liking the video to uh, go back and do it as a complete series and I'll have all the books in front of me and uh, we'll go from there okay so till next time uh, I'm Tori you're not this is Idiot Box Radio email me at idiotboxradio.com take two seconds of your time to please follow me on all social media and um, because it's all free but it really helps me out and gets the word out there and if you do have the capability of sharing this or letting someone else know uh, it's available in audio and video formats so if you hear me talking about the stuff behind me um, and you're only listening to the video at the moment i am in my living area and i've got some pretty cool stuff behind me and maybe one day we'll do a video about that too it does change around constantly and directly above and out of sight is uh yeah my number one love stephen king uh in terms of authors and um zimmy zam zam i'll talk to you later bye <laughs>